My name is Michael Hunter. I'm the program director for Achieve Tahoe. We are very excited to uh, have our military winter sports camp this week. We started the week off with uh, breakfast at the Eagle's Nest in the Hyatt Hotel in Incline Village, Nevada. And then we took our guests over to North Star Resort for a team building event um, where we run them through a series of different activities to break the ice and get everybody to know each other and start to feel like a team and be able to lean on each other for um, support, camaraderie and fun. And then we went up to uh, Brockway Summit for uh, snowmobiling with Lake Tahoe Snowmobile Tours. Uh, when we got there, the staff for the snowmobile tours um, mentioned throttle therapy, which I found to be a, a really neat phrase, and it was pretty true, it held true. For a lot of our participants, they use wheelchairs, and when you use a wheelchair, you're in that wheelchair a lot, and to be able to, uh, at least from what everybody tells me, to move from a wheelchair to anything else is a little liberating, but to move to something um, that has a big engine underneath of you is uh, very liberating and very exciting. Our snow sports program is our flagship program for Chief Tahoe and uh, one we're very proud of it but two we have a high rate of success in being able to help people find greater levels of independence while they're uh, learning to pursue a new sport in life so that they have more positive ways to spend their time. The great thing about outdoor high challenge pursuits like uh, skiing and snowboarding is that it is high challenge for the general population and so when somebody is successful with it it leads them to uh, see that they're capable of more than they thought they were capable of. We're a professional ski instruction uh, school and so we have three basic principles and those are safety, fun, and learning in that order. Um, but we like to add another one, so safety, fun, um, learning, and independence. So one of the great aspects about our program that we learn is different from many other uh, camps is that we uh, allow and encourage our participants to bring a guest, a family member, a, a friend, a spouse, whoever is most likely to come and engage in these activities with them. So when they experience it together, they can reflect upon it together and they can move forward with the experience um, as a couple or as um, brothers or father and son. And we have all of those dynamics within this group, uh, which is a wonderful thing to see. In fact, we have a a gentleman that came with us last year and brought his mom and this year his, his dad came and you can see the, the support of the whole family working together uh, to help, help him heal and help him move forward and he's made great strides, it's amazing to see. This is my brother Mike and uh, it's a good time having him up here with me to support me. My last deployment which was uh, Afghanistan in 2010 and 11 amongst other things I sustained a, a brain injury, a traumatic brain injury, it caused me some short-term memory loss and subsequently an aneurysm that I've had to deal with every eight months, uh, have it retested. Those put limitations on me and along with what was diagnosed as PTSD, something I really uh, dug my heels in and didn't want to label what was going on with me but I had no way to den deny it after um, isolating and I mean, family seeing it, family seeing me go kind of deep, deep underground for, for quite a while. Since I started involving myself self in, in like adaptive sports, uh, taking invitations that were given to me to, to do things like we're doing here, yeah, it's like it's just like it's just like opening my eyes again. Activity-wise, I mean, I'm doing more now than than I've done since I've been back from that last deployment. So I'm, I'm starting to reintegrate, starting to get back into life again. Uh, it's a great opportunity to spend time with my brother here, and uh, you know, just get out and do stuff. Coming to these is a great opportunity to meet a lot of great guys and and. and uh, it's amazing, it's amazing what people can really do when they put their mind to it. I served in Desert Storm, uh, also in Guantanamo Bay, and in the U.S. Army uh, in Iraq in 2010 through 2011. Oh, this is an amazing opportunity for veterans and uh, people that have disabilities to get out here in nature with people that are more than happy to help you and uh, to assist you to get you skiing, snowmobiling, it's just wonderful. Oh, the snowmobiling was awesome. You know, you get to be independent, you get some speed, you get to go over the bumps and everything, and it was just, just a lot of fun. You can uh, actually see that you can do a lot of things out here by yourself. This is, you know, a great experience. It's something that when you initially get your injury, you don't think that you'll ever be doing anything like this again and to actually get up on the mountain and be skiing down it and not only skiing down it, but having fun and being as close as to what it used to be when I skied when I was standing is just fantastic. I love the snowmobile and it's one of the best things that you can come out and do. They actually took us up on a trail and 
It was a lot of fun. They'd let us get a little speed up on it instead of just putting along like, you know, we're fragile, breakable. We actually, almost like you're really snowmobiling like anybody else. You're just going up there. Got to the top, a beautiful view of the lake, and then we came back down. And I was in the Army, in the Army Reserve for 40 years. I've been in five conflicts, uh, served in Vietnam as a medic. In my last uh, deployment to Afghanistan where I received spinal cord injury and uh, lost lower half of my left leg. It, this is my first year actually stand skiing. I've been doing sit skiing for the last six years, did snow bike. And I decided, you know, it's time to get back up on my own two feet. I was in the Army, I was with the 82nd Airborne Division and uh, my injury was sustained uh, when we invaded Panama back in December of 89. Uh, it's great to be out here with my wife without our kids because our kids would take a lot of uh, a lot of work and we get we don't get very much time by ourselves without worrying about their needs and cater to our needs ourselves. So this is a great opportunity for me and her to reconnect where you know when we go back we can actually still we can build upon you know our our week here and uh, still give our kids their attention. <laughs> We feel we've been able to push people beyond their comfort zone so they can achieve something beyond what they expected. And with this, we hope they all go away living our motto, if I can do this, I can do anything.